this is one of the most popular dynamic programming questions in technical interviews. So you are a professional robber planning to rob houses along a street. The houses are arranged in a circular manner, and each of the houses has a certain amount of money. Now each of the houses has security systems, and if two adjacent houses are broken into in the same night, the police will be alerted. So given an array of integers which represents the amount of money in each of the houses, return the max amount of money that you can get without alerting the police in a single night. Let's say we're given this array, we can rob the following houses to get a max amount of money of 4. Let's go over the thought process. At each of the houses, we have two choices. We can either skip the house or rob the house and jump to the next next house. We will pick the choice that will give us the higher amount of money. Now a side case that we need to handle is when we rob the first house, we are not able to rob the last house because the houses are arranged in a circle. Now we have two possible starting locations, we can either start with the first house or the second house. If we start from the first house, we are not able to rob the last house. We will pick the starting location that will give us the higher amount of money. Let's implement the function rob taking the input rate, if there are no houses return 0, if there's only one house return the amount of money in the house, return the larger value between starting from the first house and starting from the second house. Let's implement the helper method taking the current index, the last index, and the input rate, if the index is out of bounds return 0, return the larger value between robbing the house and skipping the house. 